Hey folks, the strong winds today blew in a bunch of coats and blankets. Check this out. PSGA Girl Scouts service unit came in today with nearly 100 coats and blankets. These bags out here in front were full. They took some out to show to us, but take a look at this group. They were here in force today. We appreciate them coming by tonight and bringing us coats and blankets. The PSGA Girl Scouts service unit. Thank you for your generous donation to Tim's Coats. Hey, look at the radar tonight. It was quiet and then watch little tiny showers kind of snuck across the skies. It was almost clear. There were hardly any clouds, but just enough for that. You might have caught a brief sprinkle in that wind, and now it's gone, and that should be it. Now, the wind gust, here's where we are now, still 20 to 30 miles an hour, 35 in Rio Grande City, 28 Port Isabel, 32 Harlingen and Raymondville, so still a gusty evening out there, and things may settle a little bit tonight, but it's going to crank right back up again tomorrow. This is 8 a.m., and you're looking at wind gusts then, momentary bursts of wind, about 30 miles an hour across much of the valley, 20 in the east. But as the day goes on, we just keep going. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's still windy. Overnight tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, still gust into the 20s. And then finally, by Saturday morning, still breezy, but not as windy. And during the daytime Saturday, if anything, it goes down. By the time you get to Sunday morning, look at that two or three miles an hour, so not much wind to speak of. And Sunday looks to be beautiful with almost no wind. Temperature wise, we've fallen into the 50s every place now. 57 in Rio Grande City, 59 in McAllen, 56 in Harlingen. Brownsville's at 59 degrees. Overnight, we'll drop off another five to 10 degrees. Depends on where you are. Still though, very windy across the region. And then tomorrow, yet again, a red flag warning from 11 to six when the wind kicks up, that low humidity air building in. That wind out of the northwest, 20 to 30 and gusty again tomorrow. Normal high 72. Tomorrow we're not going to make it. 66. Back to 70 on Saturday and 71 degrees on Sunday. But remember, we're starting near 40, so it's chilly. Here's your satellite. If you watch right near the end, you see these clouds that showed up this evening that triggered those isolated showers. There won't be anything else tonight, I don't think. It's just windy. That's it. During the daytime tomorrow, sunshine will rule, and that'll be the case all weekend long. We're dominated by sunshine. A chilly start, sunny in the afternoons, and that happens again on. On Sunday, temperatures near 40 in the morning, sunshine takes over, and that's that. We are dry, dry, dry all the way through the weekend. The rest of Texas, there's been snow tonight. It's kind of west of Lamb Pass. It's kind of out near Abilene. Abilene saw quite a bit of it. There's the storm system pushing through. That's it now. High pressure will build in and give us some really nice days ahead. So for tonight, 49, clear and rather chilly, still breezy all night long. North Northwest winds 25. To 35. Then tomorrow back up to 66. That's it. Today we were 83. So a big change from one day to the next. And the wind will be there with gusts to 40 tomorrow afternoon. I think the wind dies down by Saturday. Sunday looks just like another gorgeous day. 71 for a high. Monday, same thing. We start to bring the moisture back in by the middle of next week. So humidity comes up a little bit. And by Wednesday, Thursday, the possibility of some showers back in the forecast. But sunshine rules from here to Monday. It's just going to be windy tomorrow and then chilly during the overnight hours. Today was almost beach weather early in the day. It was gorgeous. Temperatures were in the 80s. Humidity dropped. It was really nice. And then the wind machine turned on yep. and everything changed. All right. Enjoy. Thanks, Tim. Sports is next.